Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the device cannot start. Code 10, operation failed, the requested operation was unsuccessful. Message that you are receiving on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I recommend doing would be just to go ahead and restart your computer. And then once you're back into Windows, open up the search menu and type in Device Manager. Best result, check them back with Device Manager. Go ahead and open that up. And now you want to expand the Network Adapter section, so double click on it. If you see anything that's disabled in here, which would be indicated by a little down arrow over the icon, you want to go ahead and right click on that Network Adapter in question and select Enable Device. And then once that is done, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config, followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Once again, exactly as you see it on my screen. And hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point your issues should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.